All right, let's use Scopey to do some introductions to function generators and oscilloscopes. And what we can see here is that everything is labeled, right? So when I said an LT spice, there was W1 as a voltage source measured with respect to ground. That's what you see there. And then when I said the measurement channel of the oscilloscope, one plus to one minus is here. And then the wires connect, All right? And if we look over here, we have the measurement channel, V1 v plus, V minus plus, and we have the W1 with respect to ground, and nothing in between. Or is there? Like I said before, there's always something in between. So it's all connected. And I need to connect Scopey, so I'll connect it like that and give it a moment. And it goes through a whole calibration routine. All right. Now I need to go to my signal generator, which I've set up to a 5-volt peak-to-peak 100 hertz triangle wave. All right. Then I'm... In order to start it though, I have to click run, and I understand it's a little out of focus. So here's the oscilloscope, nothing can be seen, because I have to, again, click the run button. And now I can see what's going on. And then there's some measurements here which you can access measurements by, at the bottom of the screen, you would click measure, then click this settings button, and you can just display all. And what I'm getting is the max and min are very, very close to 2.5. All right. So, Let's put 100 ohms and see what happens. Okay, there's 100 ohms. Now I come back and I'm getting a maximum of 1.6 which when we did this in LT spice, I didn't actually measure it, but that's what we're getting. So our series resistance is actually very close to, to 50 ohms, right? Now, you can see that if I put in 100K, Even at 100K, I'm still getting my um, pretty much the channel voltage in, of the oscilloscope and the, the output channel are the same. Let's put in 100 mega ohm, I mean 100 micro ohm capacitor. All right, and it's not quite the same. Now, the thing about triangle waves is they're composed of an infinite number of sine waves. Um, and I don't want to deal with that right now. So instead of triangle, I come back to signal generator. And I just take sine. And I come back. And... Alright. So we're getting pretty much our peak to peak. But let's go to, to 
10 kilohertz. And now notice this has reduced. Of course, the time base is off. So I'm going to click down here for the settings for channel 1 and decrease the time base. Kind of zoom in on the sine wave, if you will. Get a few periods. And it's attenuated. And so I'm going to zoom in on the, the waveform's amplitude. And now I'm getting a minute max of, you know, 0 0.75. All right, and so it's really attenuated. Well, that's just like the LT spice example, and we're getting a voltage division between the series resistance of 50 ohms and the impedance of the capacitor. All right, which you can just calculate to be one divided by two pi divided by the capacitance value of one microhenry and divided by the frequency, which in this case was 10 kilohertz. All right. Now, um, so that shows how, you know, that 50 ohms series resistance can affect your measurement. Now what we'll find a lot of times is that we'll use two channels, one to measure the what we're measuring on the output of the function generator and then measuring whatever output of the, the circuit. And a lot of times we just take the ratio of those two. So you many times don't notice that that 50 ohms is there. Also if you keep whatever it's driving, you keep that resistance above 2k or even you know 10 kilo ohms you, you won't notice it as well. All right. So the next uh, video will be us testing uh, an LED like a curve tracer.